Hey guys, my name is Pratik and today we're gonna analyze the impact of cars features on price and profitability. As we all know that uh, the automotive industry is changing very, very at a very, very rapid pace. And with the focus, the environment's or the public's focus, consumers focus on fuel efficiency as well as the environmental sustainability and the technological in uh, innovations uh, such as electric electric cars as well as hybrid cars. It becomes very difficult for a manufacturer to analyze what features are important, what a customer needs, and how does he actually manage his profitability with all these demands and requirements by the consumers. Uh, now, as a data analyst, we are going to analyze the features that a manufacturer can optimize to increase his uh, profitability. All right. Now the approach that was followed uh, for this particular project the first and foremost thing was understanding the data set because uh, this data set even though uh, it looks pretty simple uh, from the surface of it it has very very intricate details that need to be taken care of otherwise uh, that would come with understanding the data in itself otherwise we would miss up on uh, a lot of important things the next step or the next stage of this project was cleaning up the data so that it is manageable. The third part was analyzing the data and deriving the insights from them. The fourth part included uh, vis uh, visualizing the data so that our uh, any kind of audience, a non-technical audience could also look up to the graphs and the charts and understand what the data is trying to tell or what the story behind the data is. Uh, this also included uh, making up a dashboard so that the analysis can be done by uh, other teams and managers as well. Uh, this for this particular project we have used simple technologies that are or the softwares that are available we have used Excel for uh, uh, data cleanup, data analysis, visualization, as well as building of our dashboards. And for the presentation purposes, we have uh, used Microsoft PowerPoint. Now, for the uh, for the looks of it, we've also used Stability Diffusion for the pic for generating the pictures in the slides as well. Uh, now, <laughs> coming back to the uh, uh, project in itself the first and foremost part of this particular project is understanding the data all right now understanding to understand each and every feature as well as what does it say uh, took a lot of time now just to summarize the data or uh, just to get the initial uh, nuances of the data uh, the data set in has about 16 features in them which includes features such as uh, make man, um, uh, make uh, which is nothing but the manufacturer model or uh, the sub brand from the particular manufacturer uh, the kind of engine horsepower it has the kind of cc's it has the kind of uh, mileage it delivers what the price is what the popularity score is and an, uh, a number of columns as such a number of features as such the data set uh, includes about uh, this uh, data set includes about 11,914 uh, odd data points and uh, the case study is for about 48 manufacturers different manufacturers now when we uh, indulge into uh, indulge a little deeper into a study we realized that there were about 715 duplicate values now uh, having these duplicate values does not make a lot of sense so we went ahead and dropped off these duplicate values now on further analysis of the data we found out that there were about four features which had empty missing or null values in them these features were number of doors uh, engine cylinders engine horsepower and engine fuel type engine horsepower having the highest number of missing values in them when we uh, dug a little more deeper into the data we uh, found out that there were two uh, two features which had abnormal at, uh, abnormal data present in them these were market category as well as transmission type now market category uh, 
had a sub category in itself called unknowns and there were about 3742 or data points having this unknown value now for our data analysis this would not make a lot of sense so we had to take care of them as well as there were about 19 odd nas available of uh, uh, na as a sub category available in transmission type now uh, the next step that we took to understand the data was seeing if there are uh, any uh, outliers present in the data and to my surprise we found a lot many but uh, the interesting thing in this particular case study is we did not go ahead and remove the outliers apart from just one particular outlier one particular data point nothing was removed now the reason being uh, all first of all let me uh, just summarize what all columns and uh, what are, what is the type of uh, outliers they had engine horsepower had a lot of outliers engine cylinder had outliers the mpgs had outliers now uh, to audiences understanding let me go ahead and explain what an mpg is in india we basically call it as economy of the vehicle or number of kilometers that a vehicle travels in a liter of fuel now in us we do not have uh, liters as the measure uh we have gallons for the fuel and instead of kilometers the unit of measures is miles so basically it is nothing but uh uh liters uh i mean the like kilometers per liter something similar to that now uh coming down to the first uh first uh feature which is engine horsepower now you can see that this particular let's talk about this particular first uh, outlier over here now uh, this outlier is for the car manufacturer called bugatti uh, we see that there is a very very high uh, uh, engine horsepower that is produced by this particular vehicle now the reason being these are not a normal everyday use cars these are hyper cars and removing this particular data point would remove the an entire make of the vehicle or entire manufacturer of the vehicle which is bugatti because bugatti has a uh, 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 chiron bugatti has veyron are uh, these other type of cars they produce and these type of cars produce anywhere between 1000 to 2000 odd horsepower uh, now we cannot call this as uh, an outlier to be precise uh, now coming down to the engine cylinders the same story continues over here uh, manufacturers such as uh, bugatti rolls royce uh, and uh, rolls royce these have few models which have 16 cylinders engine in them for example rolls royce ghost has a uh, 16 cylinder engine w16 engine in them now removing this would remove a particular uh, model of a vehicle or entire make uh, or or the entire manufacturer from the analysis the same story continues with these data points as well where in these data points are for manufacturers such as uh, lamborghinis and ferraris now not having them in our analysis uh would be a problematic for a a, a dealer who is trying to sell this cars if he does not have an a value or a, a data point which could tell him that this is the approximate base price or this is the approximate price that he should be selling the vehicle at he would be completely clueless as to what price do we sell it upon now the only data point as i told uh, as i was telling earlier that was removed is this particular data point now this particular data point stood for uh, an audi car that was uh, a petrol powered car and being petrol powered car uh, this shows it to have a mileage of about 350 which is uh, which is which is not possible so this particular data point was removed now if we see these outliers over here these are for the electric cars now elect electric cars provide a phenomenal mileage as the same is the story with the hybrid cars as well so this entire portion of outliers is nothing but electric cars as well as hybrid cars and removing them would have removed an entire category of electric cars as well as hybrid cars from our analysis which is the most important category in today's dnh 
the same story continues for uh, popularity as well as msrp as well the high msrp is for a uh, luxury as well as hyper cars and removing them again does not make any sense so we did not remove any outliers apart from this particular data point now uh, moving down to the next phase of our uh, case study in, in our case study that was data cleaning now we saw the first feature that we took up for uh, cleaning up the data was engine fuel type now engine fuel type there were just three values that were uh, missing that were for one single vehicle type that was suzuki uh, verona now uh, since the there were only three values that were missing from engine fuel type we took up a decision to go ahead and drop the null values for engine fuel type but uh, if we see this particular category there are a lot of subcategories with similar kind of names such as pre uh, premium unleaded uh, required premium unleaded recommended uh, flex fuels premium flex fuels premium required e85 and what not so to ease up or to uncomplicate things we went ahead and modified the fuel types to uh, to have the subcategories as premium unleaded uh, regular unleaded flex fuel diesel electric and natural gas so these are the subcategories we have modified these cat subcategories into moving down to the second uh, cleanup task that was for a feature by name engine horsepower now uh, there this was uh, the fee this was the feature which had the maximum number of um, null or missing values in them but to my surprise when i uh, deep dived into uh, the data i found out the data uh, the, there there were uh, for example uh, there was uh, there is data missing for chevrolet impala but we had a few data points for the same make and model there were few data points that were missing but there were a lot of data points which were already provided now we used uh, pivot tables to go ahead and take the average of uh, the horsepower that was available for all the chevrolet impala uh, models and we went ahead and imputed the null values for them but there were a few makes a uh, few models that did not have any data available for example uh, fiat 500e did not have data available uh, within our data set so i used online uh, research to go ahead and find these values out and impute them the third feature that we took up for data cleaning was number of engine cylinders uh, now uh, we had a few values missing in engine cylinders uh, but we could divide the missing data the uh, the fields uh, the makes and the models that had missing the data into two categories uh, on the basis of engine uh, fuel type the first category is for electric cars and the second category is for petrol engines and for just one particular manufacturer that is mazda let's talk about the electric cars first now electric cars uh, upon research uh, i got to know that electric cars do not have conventional ic engine in them but they have hub mounted motors and motors do not have cylinders uh, which uh, are like uh, ic powered engine which have compression suction uh, power and exhaust strokes these are just the motors a battery powers these motors uh, and with the help of electric power these uh, motors rotate which power the wheel hence there are no cylinders available if i went ahead and imputed these values with zero now coming down to the next part petrol engine mazda okay now this sounds interesting upon uh, research i found out that these are powered by a very very different kind of technology which is called wankel engine now the wankel engine is basically trying uh, is circular in shape which has instead of cylinders it has a triangular uh, a triangular part in it which uh, you know rotates inside the cylinder and this is used uh, this triangular part uh, performs the task of suction comp compression exhaust and power stroke like 
the uh, like a conventional IC engine. So since this also does not have cylinders, the imputed value was zero over here. Now, uh, and in upon uh, diving a little more deeper into uh, the data, I found out that transmission had values a lot of values mentioned as unknown about 300 odd val 3000 odd values mentioned as unknown now um we had to take care of it and the mo uh, and the method that was used to take care of it was i uh, was uh, i took out the mode the value which is most repeating and replaced unknown with that which is automatic type of transmission uh, the next uh, feature that had missing values was number of doors. Now, since the data was not available in our data set itself, I used online sources to uh, search up the data. Uh, the missing data was for just two uh, category of uh, two uh, vehicles to make of vehicles, make and model of vehicles, which was Ferrari FF and Tesla's Model S. So these both of them basically had four doors. I imputed them with that with that four, four as a value now uh, our data set the set had about 70 odd missing value a uh, duplicate values which uh, as mentioned earlier would not add any advantage to our analysis hence they were dropped there was uh, also a subcategory mentioned as na into market category but this was left at us uh, as it is the third step involved us to analyze the data now to an the first analysis that was performed was how does the popularity of a car of a car's model vary across different market categories All right now this orange line over here depicts the uh, average popularity of the vehicle and this depicts the uh, uh, the count of mat uh, the number of cars that are sold in a particular uh, category now we see that uh, the uh, the cars that are really really popular are uh, flex fuel diesel cars as well as crossovers flex fuels so crossovers are basically really really famous category uh, of the cars and the same depicts here as well in terms of sales it's the diesel cars and the crossovers which have the highest amount of sales as well as which have the highest amount of popularity score we see that the exotic uh, or super luxury cars or hyper cars have the least popularity in them now coming down to the second part of analysis wherein we try to establish a relationship between uh, the engine power and the price in itself we see that there is a direct linear relationship between the price as well as the engine horsepower so we see as the engine horsepower increases the price of the vehicle also goes up but over here this particular point is for tesla's model s even though it generates about 1000 uh, odd horsepower the price of this is really really low and this may be due to the fact that electric vehicles due to their battery power depleting over the years lose their values now coming down to the third part of analysis wherein we try to um, establish as to what features are actually important in determining or if are majorly influencing the price of the car uh, we see uh, to my surprise as uh, uh, india is a lot price conscious uh, economy as well as we try to get maximum bang for the buck the cars that are you know uh, that deliver the maximum mileage hence maruti is one of the best sellers in india to my surprise uh, this was entirely opposite in united states where in uh, engine horsepower and uh, in the number of cylinders were the factors that were majorly influencing uh, uh, the upward movement of the price which was then followed by the mileage of the vehicle the factors that were uh, the high uh, the bigger the size of the vehicle was uh, that reduced the price of the vehicle now uh, coming down to the next analysis wherein we try to analyze as to how does the average price of the car vary uh, with the different manufacturers uh, 
these this analysis can be divided into three parts wherein first we have uh, everyday use cars or the cars that are manufactured for the masses okay somewhere up until uh, the uh, genesis part uh, so these are the vehicles which have a very very low uh, price whereas if we move on from genesis up until the part where in a mercedes comes into the picture these are lug uh, these are luxury cars which have a higher price than the uh, every the cars for the masses and then comes the section where in we have ultra luxury cars that are porsche as the uh, aston martin ferraris bentleys and rolls royces uh, of the world where in uh, these prices are higher than the luxury cars and the hyper cars such as bugatti have the highest price now coming down to establishing the relationship between uh, fuel efficiency and the number of cylinders in cars engine uh, we see a linear sort a linear relationship over here again uh, as the number of cylinders of uh, the engine increases the mileage or the mileage goes down the same case is true the orange points depict the uh, city mileage and the blue points depict the highway mileage and both these are uh, reduce with the increase in the number of cylinders in an engine in a car's engine now uh, deriving the key insights uh, the people in us uh, like engines with higher horse horsepower as well as the uh, engine power increase as the engine power increases so does the price of the vehicle whereas the story is at uh, the other way around in india uh, now engine horsepower and the number of cylinders uh, in a car has uh, has a major has a major contribution in um, uh in increasing or inflating the car's price exotic cars uh, hold up their value and aspiration over the years and electric cars even though the buzz around the electric cars is very very high but they tend to lose their value over the years now the efficiency of the car is inversely related to the engine horsepower and the number of cylinders now we could easily see from the graph that as the number of uh, cylinders are increasing or or the horsepower of an engine is increasing the mileage of uh, the mileage takes dive the same thing can be seen over here uh, in our dashboard as well we could see as the horsepower of the uh, engine increases as the horsepower increases the mileage goes on decreasing but this particular point is for electric car that is tesla's model s where in even though the horsepower of the engine is high the mileage delivered is really really good and that's one of the reasons that people are preferring electric cars now coming down to uh, the last point uh, or the observation and interesting observation that i notice over here is uh, people are uh, the us market is completely different from indian market indian market is more price conscious in india people usually look for uh, efficiency as the most important factor in deciding uh, what car to purchase they do not mind compromising on engine horsepower or the features but the story is the other way around in us and uh, now coming down to the summary of the project what this uh, this this taught me as to how to go ahead and uh, look for those finer details that are missing or how to manipulate the data the finer details in the data which could uh, give us a more precise or an accurate analysis of the data uh, pivot tables were extensively used to uh, derive the conclusions and the dashboard was created now the dashboard over here represents the dashboard over here represents the cars prices by uh, the brand and the body style uh, we could go ahead and select different styles over here we have uh, and uh, the effect of transmission and body styles on msrp we see that the automated manual has the highest uh, price 
then this is something which we've already discussed and then we see how does the average efficiency of the vehicles vary over the years and the body styles now we could select the data over here on the top for example we select uh, Sec, this is taking some time. So we could see over here, over the years, how does the uh, the efficiency of the car vary for this particular body type that is two door hatchback. Again, uh, this project was really, really interesting, and this helped me. Uh, it was very interesting as well as challenging uh, to go ahead and fill up the finer details in the data. So, thank you. Thanks a lot for this particular project, and thank you for your time.